from toolbar select the ellipse tool now by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard drag it and make a circle like this now select the circle go to edit copy edit paste in place now drag the circle by pressing shift and alt key and make little bit bigger similarly select this circle edit copy edit paste in place now drag it down by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard now select this inside circle drag it by pressing shift key and match up with the outer circle now select this one and drag it this one too now select the outer circle and drag it by pressing shift key now we are having equal gap here now take scissor tool from the toolbar and cut it here and cut here the second circle and the inside circle cut here now cut the outer circle here and cut this one here now let us delete those first now take scissor tool once again and the inside circle I'll cut here and already we cut here now select this one and delete it now select them and from here increase the stroke and choose the second option so here what I'll do I'll just drag it little bit by pressing shift key and this one also And let's take this one little bit up upward by pressing arrow key on your keyboard so that it can match up here and here little bit now it looks fine now select this one and increase the uh, stroke little bit more and this one also now select them go to object and expand appearance now by using text tool write the logo title here so double click and write the logo name let's make duplicate here by pressing alt key and I am dragging it now double click and write the tagline here now let's change the font for this so from here you can change the font now select this one from the character we can increase the gap of the tag so here I'll give 300 this should come up to here so what we'll do we'll increase the gap here let's give 450 let's decrease a little bit now it is matching with that now select them and expand it 
Now take pen tool and from here let's draw some curve. Now take a smooth tool and just move over the curve and make the curve more smoother like this. Now take pen tool once again and from here let's make a proper shape. Click here. Now select this one. Take smooth tool and just move over it. Now select it. Take shape builder tool. Choose the fill color and click here. And delete those unnecessary extended lines. Now select this one and remove the outlines. Now drag it and a little bit make bigger in size. Select this one and make duplicate by pressing Alt key. Now let's pick the perfect color for this. So select this one and this one by pressing shift key and this one and this one and from the swatches we'll apply color and from the color option you can manipulate the color and pick the perfect one. Select this one, this one, and this one by pressing shift key and change the color for these two. Now let's save it on PNG transparent so that we can apply it for mock-up. So from here choose PNG 24 transparency and you can preview it here so I'll give 200 percent because our mockup mockup file needs bigger file size now let's save it on desktop you can give any name and just save now to apply mockup file we need to open Photoshop in Photoshop go to file open and open your mockup file at the top of the mockup layer you'll find this placeholder just double click on here and now go to file again open go to desktop and select your transparent image that we saved from illustrator now drag the png transparent image over this mockup file and release it here click ok You can drag it by pressing Alt key and make size a little bit bigger and mark it. Unmark this mock-up background and close it. Yes. And wait for the mock-up to be applied. You 
If you don't have the mockup file, you can check on description link and you can download it from there. And now check the result. If you like this tutorial, you can like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.